Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here with Brother Bro. And it's time for the 2021 Oscars. Best Picture, we are thinking it's going to be Nomadland. We got original screenplay right now. We're going to find out if Promising Young Woman wins or Trial Upsets. There we go! There we go! Promising Young Woman gets an award! I really wanted to see Emerald Fennell accept an award tonight, and I'm so happy that they've done this. That's great. Trial Chicago 7 is not winning anymore, okay? There's like... That's, That's it. it. It's done. That's it. It's done. It's, it's Nomadland. I don't know. All right. Adapted screenplay. Is it The Father? Is it Nomadland? This category, like, there's been a last minute sort of surge of people predicting The Father, feeling like The Father is going to win something and it's going to be here. <gasps> the Father! Oh my God! The Father wins! Oh my God! God! Oh my God! The Father wins! Oh, the last minute surge it matters! It happens! The last minute surge matters! matters. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm happy with it. I'm happy like with it. it. As long as we see Koei Jia win another award. Okay? Yeah. She has to win director. And then I'll be happy because you get Chloe Zhao's award and then Florian Zeller gets his award. The question at this point is, does this give Hopkins a boost? I've already been saying Hopkins could win, so it doesn't change my mind about that. International feature. Fully expecting this one to go to another round. Another round. Another round. And that, I mean, pretty obvious if you get director. Yeah, now we have Thomas Vinterberg accepting an Oscar, which is great because he's really been at it for, for a little while now. Oh, supporting actors happening? We know it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. All right. Get Kaluuya up there already. There Daniel we go. Kaluuya. There we go. Academy Award. Kaluuya. Kaluuya. Daniel Kaluuya. We knew since Get Out that it was, he had to win and it was going to happen. It just happened. We're so happy. Is that his family? Amazing. They never show their families. He might get another uh, he, Oscar. He could get another Oscar. He might get another Oscar. He's just insanely talented. No oh, makeup. We're expecting this to be Ma Rainey. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Okay. Okay. That was a no brainer. It was a no-brainer. Yeah, one of, one easy, of many seeming no-brainers in these tech categories. Something we haven't talked about up until now is how many wins does Ma Rainey get? It's up for four yeah. awards, all of which it could win. Wait, yeah, five awards. It's up for but because it wasn't nominated for Best Picture or Screenplay, it's probably overambitious to say it's going to win four awards, including actor and actress. It's like, overambitious. That is really ambitious. Costume design. Here we go. Ma Rainey, right? Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Ma Again, Rainey wins. two awards for Ma Rainey. No surprise it, there. That, it no, was no technical surprises yet. Yeah, the only surprise really so far was the father in Adapted Screenplay. Which screen play, a lot of people thought was pretty 50 was sort of a 50-50 category. Oh my god! Wait. They're announcing Best Director? Why are they announcing Best Director this early? That doesn't happen! That is usually the fourth to last award. This, this one year we knew not. what would happen, but if this was like another year, like if it were last year and they announced Director this early, it would be yeah, like... it would be like, whoa, wait, Paradise just gonna win. I mean, Chloe Zhao, like we can't... I mean, why wait any longer to give her an Oscar? Chloe Jim, there we go. There we go. I'm actually really happy about it. Like, yeah, I expected amazing. it so much, but I'm like still really, really. You know, and this. this makes me okay with the fact that No Man Land didn't win screenplay because Chloe Jim still gets to make a speech. Yeah. And the second woman to ever win the category. Best sound? It needs to be sound of metal. Sound yeah. of metal. Yeah, look at his face, look at his face. The look on his face when he looked down and he just like, like smiled into the camera like a child. Yeah. That was fucking great. They knew what they were doing. When yeah, they, they knew what they were doing. That envelope. And that's one of my favorite sound wins oh my God, probably oh my God. now. Because yeah. it wasn't some visual effects fucking thing. There was not one goddamn explosion. Not one gunshot. And it still won sound. Oh, um, animated feature. This is going to be Soul. Um, Soul's win everything. Soul's nominated for sound and score. So, mm -hmm. I mean, let's be real. It's going to be Soul. Soul wins. Yet another Pixar film to win. So, documentary feature... We have Octopus Teacher out front, but I'm not convinced it's going to win. It's not really like an important movie, but it is very beautiful. And it's, it's also a nature documentary. We don't see those win Oscars a lot. Dude. I think Crip Camp's the runner-up. I would love for time to win. My, My Octopus, Octopus teacher, teacher, there we go. Almost seemed like a no-brainer in a category that's usually pretty unpredictable. <sighs> Visual effects. Fully expecting a Tenet win here. It's Tenet. It's Tenet. Tenet. Tenet, after all Tenet this. Tenet taking visual effects. It should have been nominated for score. Oscar. Let's not forget. Let's not forget. That Ludwig Gordonson gave us one of the best scores of the year with Tenet. Yeah. And it didn't even get nominated because they didn't campaign it. Supporting actress, we need to see you and Jung win here. I'm going to be so We need to pumped. see it. I'm and, 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 and I think we're going to see it. Yes! There we go! You and there we go! Yes! Great performance. Yes! Amazing win. A win for Minari. A win for the grandmother. An amazing a, win. And a win for Asian actors. Of when course, was the last time yeah. that happened? The Killing Fields. Literally yeah. the Killing Fields in, Decades. in the 80s. Decades ago. It was, it was so goddamn deserved. Like, this probably would have been my pick in the category. Okay, production design. Mank is going to win. We know this. This would be a shock if it was did not. 
Mank. Mank wins production design. Mank was going to win and it did win. I don't have anything else to As say. That's what happens that. to Hollywood movies. La La Land won production design. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood won production design. This was always going to be Mank's one win. It's not going to win anything else the whole night. Cinematography. It's probably going to be Nomadland. Mank did win the ASC. Mank! What? Mank won! back to the ASC. Wait, shush. I'm not happy about that because I get- Wait, is no film going to win more than two Oscars tonight? Is no film- Ma Rainey. Wait, Ma Rainey is the only that one be, that can win. Okay, if Ma Rainey won more than two Oscars, that'd be like the first time that a movie that's not nominated for Best Picture wins more Oscars than most- Literally, Oscars no film is winning four Oscars tonight. Nope. That's insane. Nope. I get that Mank was freaking black and white, guys. I get it. And it was very good looking. Okay, but Nomadland, it was like, I uh, just felt I more from the cinematography. I felt more from it. This, I don't know Whoa. what's happening, honestly. Whoa. This is a curveball. What do you mean ball. you don't know what it's- Two wins for a Best Picture winner hasn't happened since- Spotlight. Sp Spot okay, fine. Spotlight, Spotlight. wasn't that long ago. What if Francis is winning? She could win. Oh, wow. <clears throat> we actually got a real ass surprise in a category that no one was expecting. Okay, best editing. I think the betting odds are like equally split between Trial of Chicago 7 and Sound of Metal winning the award. Yeah. It's really up in the air for this. Sound of Metal! Sound of Metal! Sound of Metal wins best editing! Oh goodness! My you, goodness! You actually couldn't bet against it! I, I switched at the last second to trial! You convinced me to switch at the last second to trial. I didn't make you do anything. Don't yeah, but you convinced me. me. What I like about it is that it makes you realize that editing is not just about fast cutting. I mean, for an, an indie film like this to win editing, it's, it's I want to say unprecedented, but... Wait, Trial of Chicago 7 doesn't have any awards, oh. and it's not going to win any. Oh! Oh, that's the Trial one Chicago movie that wins no the awards! one movie that wins nothing. And that was like the front runner for... for okay, wow, 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 okay. Yep. Best score, it's probably going to be Soul. Okay, Soul! Soul! There yeah, we go! Yeah, Soul wins! I like it. it is a good that Soul's definitely one of my favorites in the category. That and Minari, probably my favorites. And I like how all three of them are nominated. So it's not yeah, just- You're not just giving the Resner Brothers- They're Resner not brothers. brothers. Fuck you. They're not brothers. The Resner and Ross duo. Uh, another Oscar. You're also giving it to, um, John Batiste. Soul has, like, a mix of electronics from, from the Resner and Ross boys. And then John Batiste provided like jazz compositions. There was a lot going in that movie's favor to win this award. Original song is one of the categories that's pretty up in the air. Speak Now is the obvious winner, but you have Yossi, which Diane Warren is, she's on her 12th nomination here. I think and then there's Husevic, which a lot of people love from a film that, you know, isn't, it didn't have a chance getting Not nominated Not academy friendly else. at all. What? What? Whoa. What? Judas? Judas? Oh. Judas? Whoa. Judas? Oh Whoa. my god! That's a surprise! Nobody! Nobody! That's even a big surprise! Thought. Nobody even saw Jesus. it! Jesus! Oh my god, if you predict that, you could have gotten a lot of money. You could have gotten a lot of money if you put down in that. Damn! That is number. That was like considered number four to win. Yeah. Yeah. Almost nobody I knew of was picking it. We're almost done here. We're almost. We have three freaking categories <laughs> left. And Nomadland is not going in looking as likely as we thought it would. So there's yeah. a little bit to leave us on the edge. Wait, why the hell is Best Picture happening before the acting awards? I this don't know what's sense. happening. This is fucking weird. Why was they very, not saying the end? Been weird all That's night. Really Director weird. was like the fourth oh award. My God. They're really keeping me in suspense. No Whoa. Man Land wins Best Picture. Whoa. Okay. No Man Land. Whoa. Oh man, it's one Best Picture. That is it. Nice. No Man Land is safe. That's okay. So this, it's it's slid into it's home base. Very predictable. Does Francis McDormand win. win. Oh, that's a good question. That's Francis. That's a good question. Oh, it's kind of an incredible Best Picture win. I mean, yeah, if it yeah. weren't so, like, obviously predicted to win by every pundit, the moment would maybe feel a little more triumphant, but it is a triumphant moment. It could have been a really juicy year if this was facing off with some film that got pushed back due to the pandemic. That would have been, like, a 10-plus pl nominated film. Yeah. Nomadland is such a unique movie. Like, the way that they shot it, the way that they, like, integrated the movie into, like, the communities that, the, that it was about. It incorporates, like, a little bit of documentary filmmaking into it. Which are the best parts of the movie, too. Yeah. It might be the <laughs> least plot-heavy movie to ever win Best Picture. Best Actress is coming up right now. A legendary year in Best Actress. But Andrew Day got yeah. the Globe. 
Carrie Mulligan got Critics' Choice. Viola, Viola Davis Lee. got the SAG. And Frances McDormand got the BAFTA. It's been a really weird year. because of how the nominations went. So people did love Nobel. It has three. Whoa. It has three. Oh my god, it does have three. It's it gonna, does have three. It's going to be the most awarded movie of the night unless, you know, <laughs> Ma Rainey ties it. I don't want people telling me now that, oh, she didn't deserve it. She wasn't great in it. No, watch the movie again. Watch the movie again. She's fucking great in it. Damn, Damn look at how that, like, wrapped up. It, Whoa. it was fucking, it was nuts. It was nuts all along. I think, you know, the fact that Nomadland was the most beloved movie obviously helped her. Yes. And we, now we have lead actor. Oh my God. Listen. Why did they put this award last? Well, Look, this winning. You don't know. You don't know. Why did they put the award last? You don't know shit. They wanted to end on the moment. You don't know and shit. They knew. They, no, one, no one made that decision and knew yes, they what did. was happening. Watch. I don't believe it. Ah! 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 <laughs> oh my God. It was Anthony Hopkins. It was Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. It was Anthony Hopkins. It was. Oh, 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 oh my Anthony God. Anthony Two Hopkins. veteran actors. It was Anthony Hopkins. A second Hopkins. Oscar for Hopkins. Oh, my God. A third Oscar for Hopkins. Oh, 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 I got one of them right. I won a right. Oh, my God. I won a lot of money. Oh I won a lot of money. I actually won a lot of money. <laughs> Holy shit. I won money too, Oh, my God. Much. I'm buying a new car. Oh, oh, oh. I only won $100. Oh my God. I am buying a new car. Hopkins. Whoa. It was crazy the whole time. It was crazy the whole time. Oh my god! Oh my god! He won. What a shot! Because oh my god. it was like it was just so good. It was that good. What a oh my fucking god. race! Oh my oh fucking god! Race. The both the lead actor categories. They certainly saved the fucking most surprising for last. And honestly, those were my favorite in the category. Would I have liked to see Bozeman win? I would be equally happy because even though he might not have been the one I'm picking, mm. he was fucking amazing in Ma Rainey. Let's not forget that. Anthony Hopkins is the best best actor winner in more than a decade. I can say that easily, in my opinion. I agree. I can, tha see, that's why I completely agree because you cannot watch that performance and think that's not one of the best performances I've seen, number one. And number two, yeah. like, just that, that's like, a, that's like, that, that wins you an Oscar. The only thing holding back McDormand was the fact that she already had two Oscars. That's the only yeah. reason. Shut up. Fuck up. I'm not done. I just agreed with you. I wasn't yeah, done. you definitely. Yeah, because I'm right. Listen, the argument was always that Frances McDormand can't enter the three winner club. But other than that, like, she's she looked really damn strong. In the future, I'm not going to take as seriously this whole, like, they can't win again. Or the Frances narrative McDorm that you're overdue or it's the last chance to give you something like... That didn't pan out with, with the fate with Glenn Close and, and Olivia Coleman. I'm not saying it doesn't matter, it does, but I think a lot of people, a lot of the earlier awards will try to predict them that way. They will try to get ahead of the game and say, oh, the Oscars didn't do this because this. But the Oscars ultimately, like, I guess they don't take those into account as much. When we were hearing from people who are on the ground talking to voters, there was a lot of sentiment uh, when people were asked about best actor that I think Bozeman's gonna win, but Hopkins was my favorite in the category. Yep. He gave the best yep. points and I'm voting for Hopkins. And that's and what that happened. was strong mm. enough to win. Chadwick Bozeman won SAG, Critics' Choice, and Golden Globe. So just on paper, he was not looking likely to lose. But yeah, Anthony Hopkins, absolutely. it wasn't only that he won the BAFTA. It was <sighs> because that movie surged late. And when people had the time to see it, they were like shit. That's yep. a fucking all-timer of a performance. Yep, exactly. Ma Rainey not being nominated for Best Picture too. The passion for that movie was less. The passion for the father was really big. I no Man Land took home a nice package though with that actress. Nice package. Yeah. Very meaty. A, a package Three I didn't major think it was going to get. This is one of the best crops of acting winners I've ever seen. Because yeah, honestly, absolutely. I would have voted for each one of them. And here's something else that we're going to hear a lot about. And it's true. Actors of color winning in supporting categories happens a decent amount now. Yeah. Actors of color mm. winning in lead categories have been lacking. At the same time, the winners were really deserving. Yeah. Both are true. And Chadwick Boseman and Viola Davis, many thought would win. And so that's a, you know, a double upset for some people. I mean, those you are know, both performances the for the ages, I think. So is Kaluuya. And so is Yeo Jung Yoon. Yeah. They're amazing. I love the crop that they picked. No Way Land wins three, okay? That's the only film that won three Oscars tonight. Let's list how many films won two. 
Judas, <laughs> Mank, Ma Rainey, The Father, Chicago didn't get fuck shit Jack, didn't get fuck shit or Jack, or, or Jack. Jack. It didn't even get Jack. Sound of Metal won two awards, and um, The Father got two major awards. And by the way, the BAFTAs are so important. Even McDormand winning in a category where we thought was completely fucked because they implemented a jury of like less than 10 people to decide the nominees. We thought, well, surely if they put someone else in there, they would have won. Holy hell, the BAFTAs have influence. And Olivia Coleman winning? Yeah, screenplay, I was going to say. It happens all the time. Yeah. So people say, <laughs> oh, just because they're, it's just because they're British. No, no, no. 10-8 for visual effects, sound of metal for sound, sound of metal for editing. I mean, they call it a lot of the toss-up categories. I will say that. In particular, the BAFTAs are really good at predicting actors, and this was the fucking icing cherry on the fucking top of that cake. Oh. They predicted the Marion Cotillard upset for Julie Christie in 2007. They predicted Olivia Coleman. They predicted Meryl Streep over Viola Davis. Wow. They are the fucking kings and queens and the royalty of predicting the actress race. And wow. that is solidified forever. The Bastards are so fucking good at predicting lead actress. It's insane that they even got this one right. But, but that was not the case for lead actor? It's not the same in lead actors. Okay. As actors. That, wow. The they he picked all four acting winners. Usually, they're yeah. not the only ones who, they were yeah. the only ones who did it. Yeah. And then the SAGs were two for four. I don't know when the last time that was. <clears throat> Critics' Choice was one. One. What? Kaluuya. They only went with Kaluuya. Huh? Everything else was different. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, yeah. Critics' Choice was one for four. Wow, I guess the, Critics' Choice The Critics' Choice, matter. who pride themselves on loving to predict what eventually gets nominated, and they did their best. And McDormand uh, deserves it, too. Because acting is about listening, also. And if you watch this movie and you just keep that in mind, all the listening she's doing and how present she is and how she can, like, connect and relate with people, not everybody can do that. And not everybody can do it as well. She was really perfect in the movie. Frances McDormand is not the kind of performance that wins the Oscar. The kind of performance that wins is, like, transformative, caked in makeup, screaming, crying, yelling. Her performance was so subtle. It was like, you know, the very small expressions on her face. Her down to earth nature, just as a human being. I think very, very <laughs> few actors from Hollywood could have pulled off what Frances McDormand did in that movie and fit the style of the movie and gave the movie what it needed to be amazing. Lead acting, I think we had three amazing lead actor performances. I'm including Bozeman, I'm including Hopkins and Riz Ahmed. Like those were amazing performances. I won $210 off a $30 bet for Hopkins. I also have to say, that is the best bet I have ever seen offered to me in the Oscars history. But the fact that he was plus 700 and I considered it a toss up, how could I not bet on that? Yeah. Kaluuya is also but one I, of the best performances to win in supporting actor. Ya Jung Yoon, oh my god. She better I, be in more stuff. I want Bong Joon-ho to put her in movies. He should remake Mother with her in it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that was like an Olivia Coleman level speech. That was fucking hilarious. All she of and Olivia speeches. Coleman like need to go out for drinks because they are yes, the same. Yes, they do. Yeah. What an amazing crop of winners. And the best picture winner was great. The best director winner was phenomenal. The tech wins were, were very good The best good picture too. win is, is very, It's a good very year good at job. the Oscars, to be honest. It was a good year at the Turn Oscars. Well. Thank you for joining us on this fantastic journey. 2022 predictions. Next fucking week. <laughs> and we're gonna, and we're gonna get like kind of a new set because we're moving, we're like done with coronavirus yeah. and we're moving back into like a real place. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Which Oscar made you scream the most?